Hey guys, how are you? This is Jim Prusak, physiotherapist here at the Pain PT, and today we're going to go over two emotion regulation strategies. I've talked about these before, but I want to put the two of them together for you guys so you have an approach that you can use on a daily basis to deal with the emotional part of the brain, okay, the amygdala. And we know from the science that across many chronic pain conditions, the emotional brain is implicated in these conditions. And so we need to have a way to work with this part of the brain to get it to settle down, to bring the activity down in the amygdala. So both these strategies I'm going to go over today with you guys have been shown in the research to drop amygdala activity and increase prefrontal cortex activity, which is what we want. Your prefrontal cortex is the driver in all this. It's the way you're going to get out of your condition, okay, using that part of your brain. So these strategies is a one-two punch for emotions, emotion regulation strategies. They're both well studied and they're active processes, meaning you need to turn these on and use these each day throughout your day to deal with emotions. So the first one is emotional acknowledgement or what we call affect labeling. Being able to identify and acknowledge to yourself what are you feeling when you get triggered. So anytime you get triggered with a rise in emotion, okay, a rise in emotional arousal, then we want to identify what is this I'm feeling? What, am, what emotional category is this? I, am I getting anxious, fear-based category? Am I getting a version of some anger and frustration? Or am I feeling more of a sadness, despair, grief category? Okay, so we want to label the emotions. So once we've been triggered, some, somebody triggers us or we get triggered and whoosh, emotions get generated from the amygdala, we notice a feeling in our body. Now again, you might not notice the emotion directly as an emotion, let's say in your chest. You might notice an uptick in your symptom. Now this is how we're gonna link this together is that when your physical symptom rises up higher or you're getting an uptick, potentially, that's an emotion arising, okay? Or you might just feel, let's say, anxiety arising. Whatever it is you feel, I want you to label that feeling, acknowledge that feeling directly, okay? That's emotional acknowledgement or affect labeling. That's the number one first uh, strategy to take, okay? So once you've been triggered, what is this? Yep, I'm feeling anxious. Yeah, I'm frustrated, I'm ticked off, I'm mad. Okay, I've acknowledged it, then what? We're trying to get the emotions to settle as quickly as we can. So once we identify the emotion, um, sometimes we need to do that a couple times, but we just want to get the category and then we're trying to get it to settle down. Okay, we don't want to stay overly emotional. That's not healthy for us, that's stress. It's okay to have emotions, but we want to deal with them. Okay, so first we acknowledge what it is. And then the second strategy is what we call reframing or reappraisal. Okay, so this is a one-two punch. Now, when you reframe and reappraise, what you do is you go, as an example, you go, hey, I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling frustrated, but okay, it's all right. Calm down, let this go. It is what it is. Or you can reframe the other person, hey, they've got their own issues and own problems, or this situation, I can't control it, so I wanna let it go. Whatever is bugging you or triggering you, uh, you want to reframe it, okay? Reappraise it that it's not as big of a deal. That's that shrinking down and making smaller, which is a huge, huge motion regulation strategy that is so important to put into place because otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to continually get ignited or emotionally aroused or triggered by things going on in your life and you're going to always have to continually let it go. Oh, I'm angry again. Oh, here we go again. I'm getting angry again. Oh, yep. Getting anxious about this again. Now, until you can reframe that to mean something different to you, to shrink it down so it's not as much of a trigger, you'll continue to be triggered whenever that happens. And then you have to continue to deal with the emotions. So when you are triggered, yes, you want to deal with what is this, identify it, express it, acknowledge it, release it, and then reframe it. So you say, hey, it's not as big of a deal. It's all right. Now, reframing and reappraisal 
is actually also a front end strategy, meaning when we can be reframing and reappraising all day things that normally trigger us so they don't trigger us as much, then we don't have to deal with as much emotion. We don't have to deal with as much pain maybe in our body or as much symptoms. So these two strategies of motion regulation, again, both of them drop your amygdala activity down, which is what we want. Both of them activate your prefrontal cortex, which is what we want. And we need both of them, okay? So when you're triggered, don't just reframe at that point. The first thing again is to acknowledge, affect labeling, what is it? I'm already triggered, what is this? Let me label it, I'm anxious. Whatever the emotion is, then do reframing, reappraisal. Okay, let it go, it's all right. It is what it is, um, reframe the person, the situation, whatever it is so it's not as big of a deal in your brain. And then once you've calmed down the baseline, you wanna to try to live here. So you get up in the morning and you go, look, I'm gonna to try to live here today, not here. So I'm gonna, all day as a front end strategy, try to keep reframing and reappraising things that normally get me up here, get me triggered, get me worried, get me nervous, get me anxious, get me mad. Whatever that is, you're trying to say, you know what, all these things are not a big deal. They are what they are. Uh, it's not worth it. Whatever you can do to mitigate and drop the potential of getting triggered or the amount of getting triggered. So you're being successful even if you get triggered but you're not triggered with as much emotion, you got less to let go of. It's easier to you to just let it go. If you're up to here with emotion, you're gonna break down or explode or you're gonna be at wit's end. You're gonna be having that amygdala hijack. It's too much. Okay, so I want you guys to employ these two strategies, both well studied, affect labeling, emotional acknowledgement, number one, number two, reframing and reappraisal. Let me know how it goes for you guys. Try to do these things each day. You're starting to build your emotional intelligence and your ability to regulate your emotional brain. Take care, guys. Bye.